Hello there. Today on Spirit Lifter, we're taking a slight detour from brewing into more general fermentation. Specifically, the kind that happens in a corked bottle instead of a brew kettle. Before that, a question. What did the Brothers Grimm have to do with East Germany? Truth is, not much. But there is at least a tenuous connection to be made between their collection of fairy tales and the namesake of the largest producer of Zecht, or German sparkling wine. Perhaps the founders of the Rotkäppchen Zechtkellerei grew up reading the Grimm's collected tales and felt a special affinity for the one where a red-cloaked maiden visits her grandmother, only to nearly fall prey to a cunning wolf. Established by brothers Moritz and Julius Kloss, along with their friend Karl Förster in September 1856 as Die Weinhandlung Kloss and Förster, before renaming in 1894, Rotkäppchen today is a market leader for sparkling wine in Germany. Located in the town of Freiburg in Sachsen-Anhalt, this winery commands respect for surviving not only both world wars, but over four decades of rationing and austerity in the former German Democratic Republic. The winery produces a range of dry and semi-dry beverages, as well as Glühwein, fruit-flavored concoctions, and even alcohol-free varieties for the teetotalers. Luckily, for the purposes of this feature, they also come available in individual serving bottles of 20 milliliters. The Rosé Trocken, or Dry Rosé, comes in at 11% alcohol by volume. As the name suggests, it is a delightful pink color. All the more appropriate as it is singled out as der Fruchtige, or the fruity one. Bubbly as it should be, this rosé delivers on being both dry while still showing off fruity characteristics that remind one of treats that might be served at a weekend brunch or on a sunny picnic. Again, pardon my lack of appropriate glassware. As you can tell by now, I prefer beer over wine, and I have the glasses to show for it. Packing 31 grams of sugar per liter compared to just 20 grams for the standard green label, this rosé may not be the most luxurious, but there is some comfort in being able to find a quality bottle of bubbly from your local gas station kiosk. Thank you kindly for watching. I'm probably a bottle deep by the time you watch this, and I hope you're enjoying yourself as much as I am this Friday. Until the next time, Auf deine Gesundheit.